mastering centered composition. Yeah. In my photography, I often center my subject. Do you? Yes, I'm a fan of centered composition. It's an effective way to show your viewer where their main focus is and to give importance to your subject. I know a lot of photographers that avoid this at all costs. They don't want to center their subject because it feels it's way too easy for them and it feels, according to them, a bit amateurish. But the thing is, why have your subject off center if it's not justified? Every decision you make will have an impact on your image. I've said it before, your shot must be thought out. Every choice must be motivated. You may not take the best decision, but at least you're making one. What is your story? What is the message you want to convey? What are the elements that compose your shot? What do you want to capture? and why. This raises a lot of questions and I try to answer them before I release that shutter. I don't shoot and crop later, at least I try. Every time I capture an image, for me almost all the work is already done, unless my project needs some heavy compositing or digital enhancements. I started working with wide angle lenses a few years ago and you probably know it, wide angle lenses. When you work with people, they tend to warp, extend limbs, arms, legs and everything on the edges. They distort the human body. So one way to kind of avoid that or minimize this effect is to actually center your subject. I even made a video about wide angle lenses in the past. If you haven't seen it, go check the link in the description box below. No ambiguity here. We know where the main focus is, even if your model is really small in the frame and centering your subject kind of helps. I love, and you know what I love, wide angle lenses. I love the epic feel that it gives to your image. You can, of course, play with the distortion with your wide angle lens. I sometimes do that when working with dancers, shooting from the bottom up, slightly tilting my lens to give them longer legs. Another good reason to use centered composition effectively is to play with symmetry. I love Wes Anderson, and although we don't have anything in common in terms of aesthetics, uh, we do share the same love of centered, symmetrical shots. It doesn't have to be perfect. Symmetry can be induced with only a few common elements on the left and on the right side of your shot. Censoring your subject also increases the feeling of isolation. And of course, another way to make a strong centered composition is to use leading lines. Your viewer will be drawn and sucked inside your image. It also works amazingly when using frames or frames within a frame. And sometimes simple elements on location will beg you for you to center your shot. Of course, you may have noticed I used a lot of examples using wide angle lenses. I often fill the frame, play with my background and environment to compose my shots. When photographing a busy scene with a lot of elements all around, I try my best to simplify my model's pose I try my best to guide the viewer's eyes towards the main focus and centering my subject really helps to do so. Basically think twice before using any techniques of composition that you can learn out there. The rule of thirds, the golden ratio, don't just you know do things because they feel technically more professional. This doesn't make sense. For example, if you're using the rule of thirds and if your shot is not balanced, it won't make your shot more interesting. So compose wisely. You don't just apply rules that you learned out there randomly. If you don't know what you're doing, don't do it. I wanted to talk about this a long time ago. Now it's done. Hope you learned a thing or two. And you know what? Tell me, do you center your models? Do you center your models in your frame? Do you center your subjects? Tell me why in the comments below. Please give me a little thumbs up for support. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel already, please 
consider doing so. You can also join me on Instagram if you want to know where I am right now and what I'm currently working on. And let me please wish you a fantastic fun day, fun day. And let me of course wish you a fantastic Sunday. I guess I'll see you all next week. But until then, please have a good one.